this part of the coach training series, we're going to take a look at how you're going to set up your schedule, set your lesson prices, and use the other functionality that exists within the schedule section. So we're here in the Coach My Locker homepage. And we're going to see here in the tabs along the top right hand corner, we have three different login tabs, Academy Manager, Coach and Pro Shop. Depending on the level of access that you've been given by your Academy Manager, you may only see Coach or Coach and Pro Shop in this area. Your Academy Manager should have completed the necessary steps to set up the booking system ready to be used. So let's now head across to the schedule section. And we can see here we're now in the coach schedule homepage. We have our coach name, Joe Blogs. And as we navigate down the page, let's just talk about what we can see here on the screen. So we have this section here and checkbox known as private view only. And the checkbox at the moment isn't ticked. However, if I was to tick this section, private view only, what that's going to do is it's going to mean that your schedule, this coach's schedule that we're looking at here, wouldn't be visible to those customers who are either visiting the booking system for the first time or any customers that are logging in using their account. So to show you what that looks like, let's go across to our front end website. And if we go to book now, and we're going to choose one of our one to one lesson options. Choose this one here. And we're going to choose a lesson time. And we can see here that we've got four coaches that are visible in the booking system. Uh, so if I'm a first time customer looking for a lesson, if I was to choose coach number two, for instance, their schedule and availability would appear here in the calendar. As we can see with the green times that indicate that these lesson times are available to be booked. However, if I navigate across to Joe Blogs, it then appears with a pop up and the pop up indicates that this coach's schedule is set to private view and that for a customer to book a lesson with this coach, they need to call the mobile number that is added to the profile section, which we'll cover later in the training series. So, if you're not looking for any customers to, take, to make bookings using their own account or when using your booking system for the first time, then you would set this to private view only. You may also set this to private view only if there's a period of time when you're working on your your locker account and you didn't want any bookings to be taken. One thing to note on this, if we went across to the Pro Shop area, and the Pro Shop section allows any front of house staff at your venue or within your academy to manage bookings across all of your coaching team, they would still be able to book lessons with this coach, despite his schedule being set as private view. So private view only restricts the schedule for customers who are using the booking system for the first time or um, logging in using their, their account. So for the purpose of this training series, we're going to head back to the schedule section and we're going to set the, the private viewers unticked. So I want my customers to be able to book uh, with me through the booking system. So the first thing that we need to decide on when we're setting up our coach schedule is we need to decide on the duration or the number of weeks that we want customers to be able to book um, book lessons with us. So if we go to this button here where it says add coach schedule duration and it's going to come up with a pop up with a drop down and it's going to in, uh, um, ask us to choose the number of weeks that we want to allow customers to book with us um, in advance. So at the moment it's set to 10 weeks which means when someone goes on the booking system they will be able to visit um, They'll be able to see available lesson slots for 10 weeks ahead. So you may want to only set this to say four weeks. You may only want to set um, allow customers to book four weeks in advance. Really, that's dependent on how um, how you like to manage your your schedule and you're going to manage your booking system. Um, so I'm going to set mine to eight weeks. I want customers to be able to book a couple of months in advance, and we're going to hit save. And we're going to hit um, update. There we go. 
And we'll um, see how that appears shortly once we've set up the rest of the system. The two sections here, add an ad hoc schedule and view ad hoc schedule, we're going to come back to that in a later part of this chapter of the training series. But if we scroll down, we now have some quick tabs that we can see. We've got students, total number of lesson bookings and classes. And now if we scroll down, the next thing that we need to set up is to set our, our one to one lesson prices. So here we've got the one to one lesson price options that our academy manager has defined. And we can see here we've got 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes and 120 minutes. So we need to set some prices that we're going to attach to those lesson times. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go with 30, 40, 55, and we're going to go with this one, 100. And we're going to go ahead and hit save. And the record has been saved successfully. So the only prices that you're going to need to set are for one-to-one -one lesson prices, and there might be obviously some different options that are available on the booking system, uh, depending on what has been defined by your academy manager. And whatever prices you see there, you just need to make sure you have a price attached to them. Any section which doesn't have a price attached, it will be defined as zero on the system. So you just need to consider that uh, potentially when um, you're setting up your prices. So the prices is now all done. And what we need to start now doing is adding our schedule, adding our availability. And to start with, we're going to do um, cover the the um, option where you can add defined periods within your schedule and then use the leave functionality to manage times when you, you aren't going to be available. The section option that we'll cover is where you can use the ad hoc schedule functionality rather than add in a consistent schedule across your, your calendar. So to start with, let's um, start adding some availability to our schedule. So there's a couple of ways that we can do this. And it's really dependent on how your coaching diary is and availability is managed within your coaching business. So if we see here, we have a black box which says day, start time, end time and add. So at the moment, there isn't anything visible underneath those columns and headers. So the first thing is we're going to go and add. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a schedule for every day of the week between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. I'm going to do that for every day. Okay, so we've got every day of the week added with a start time and end time, 8 a.m. until 10 o'clock. So let's um, scroll down now and we're going to navigate ahead to the next week just so we can see the whole schedule and we can see how the whole of the schedule now has been opened between those times, 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. So that's a good option when potentially your um, your coaching schedule isn't sort of set, You you, you have... You know, you're not sure which days of the week you're going to be coaching. In one week you might coach on certain days, and other weeks you might coach on on others. So having your schedule set to open um, just gives you the flexibility to start managing those times, um, but have your available time sort of ready to be used. So what we're going to see is if we navigate across, you know, we can see all of these weeks are available. Um, but what we can see is how the schedule duration is only set for 10 weeks. So 10 weeks time, Tuesday the 24th of September, we can see how there's no further schedule um, availability. So that would be defined up here in the ad coach schedule duration. Okay, so um, let's go back to the week that we're on. And let's look at how we would best manage that situation now um, as it's highly unlikely that you're going to be, want to be coaching um, between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. each day. So let's go across maybe to um, the following week. 
so what would be um, the best way for you managing that schedule now is through the leaves section. So if we look here, the leaves functionality in the coach schedule, we've got a button that says add leave. And essentially that allows us to just block out um, part of our schedule for a defined period. Um, and if we click that button, we get a couple of options. We can do a full day leave, which is where um, the whole day that we um, designate will be blocked out and uh, lesson times won't be available. A half day leave, which is obviously half a day. Um, a short leave uh, on this one just allows us to set a defined date, um, a start time, a return time, and then have a note in that, that, that leave just to remind us what the leave relates to. The next option is a management meeting. Um, again, the management meeting is very similar as the, the short leave. Again, you can leave a leave note, but on the schedule itself, it will come up as a management meeting. Um, or the other option, which is generally the most popular, is just to use other. And other allows you to set the time, the leave date, and the return time, but add a description which will appear on the schedule. So that's a really easy way of just knowing what the leaves um, relate to. So let's go ahead and add some leaves. So we're going to do one using the other. And let's say we're going to have in here shop hours and the leave date is the Monday the 5th and we'll go that we're working in the shop between 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. there we go we can see now on Monday the 5th we have our shop hours that have gone into the diary between those times 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. let's add another one let's go with a full day leave We'll go with the 8th and we don't have to insert a start time and a return time we just need to choose the the end date and the end date is going to be one day so we're just going to do the 8th so it's the 8th is the leave date and the end date is the 8th as well and we can see now how it's blocked out one day the whole day in the schedule and let's maybe use now the short leave on Saturday the 10th and that might be sort of 3 p.m. until 10 p.m. and the note we might put in there is we'll just put meal, meal out and hit save okay so we can see how we've got um, a couple of different leaves now on the schedule we have our other um, option on the leave and the good thing about this one is you see that the description that appears on the schedule itself we have a full day leave um, so it's blocked out the whole day but we don't know why it what it relates to and also the short leave here um, we don't know what it relates to but it's another way of adding the leave we can see if we click on the the black time the leave itself it comes up with the description that we the note that we added as we can see there so a couple of different ways of, of, of you doing that. Just bear in mind that the, um, the schedule is open on the booking system for 10 weeks. So you just need to make sure that if you add um, a schedule for the whole week between those times that you need to go through your schedule and make sure you've got all those black leaves added on the, the times that you don't want to, to teach. So what we're going to do now is just... Um, Go back and delete some of these um, these times that we've added to the schedule. Um, and what you may have is you may have sort of defined days where um, you are open for teaching, defined hours, and these are quite consistent. Or you might have a consistent day off or time off that you're never going to be teaching. So what you can do again is you can just use the the day schedules here that you've added. And let's just say on a Sunday. We know that we're never going to be teaching on Sunday, so we'll remove that. And we know also on a Monday that we're always going to be working in the in the shop until three o'clock. So we'll set the start time as three p.m. There we go. And let's say on a Wednesday, on a Thursday, sorry, we know we're going to be covering an afternoon time in the shop. So we'll set that one till ten. So we can see now if we go to sort of all those weeks we've got in our schedule, those times that we've just changed, 
are now not available on the schedule. So Monday mornings, early afternoon, Wednesday until one o'clock and Sunday we haven't got any availability um, at all. So that's uh, another way in which you can use the schedule to, to manage your manage your diary. So let's now um, delete that functionality. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and delete all of the schedules that we added. There we go. And hit continue. There we go. So we've got all of those green times now removed. So if a customer went on the, the system, they wouldn't be able to book any lessons at the moment as there's no, there isn't going to be any availability. What you may want to um, consider instead is instead of opening up your schedule completely is using the ad hoc schedule functionality here. So let's say that you have a pretty full full time role within your venue or maybe in a retail shop and you know that your coaching sort of availability is going to be fairly limited and maybe quite sporadic um, in terms of the dates and time. So what you can do is just use the ad hoc schedule functionality. So let's say we know that um, on Saturday the 3rd, we're going to have some availability to teach, 3rd of August. So what we can do is go into our ad hoc schedule, choose a start time and an end time. And we can choose the schedule date and hit save. And if we go down now, what we're going to see is how we have some green available times that have appeared now on the 3rd of August. So the ad hoc functionality just allows you to add windows of time for customers and yourself to, to make bookings when your availability may be more, more limited. Um, so really it's, it's a choice between using the schedule option and adding leaves for the times when you're not going to be available or using the ad hoc schedule functionality um, if perhaps your availability is a lot more, a lot more limited.